friends, it's Maggie, and welcome to Maggie Reads. Today we're reading The Dance of the Violin. Ponies, Catch Up, and Paw Patrol? Sure, but I also love New York City and all things Broadway. Singing? Yep. Stage drawing? Maybe we've met. Then there's my dog Rachel and cats Bailey and Monica. But I love school, especially reading. And I'm here to read along with you. Welcome to Maggie Reads. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm in my big blue comfy chair, and let's start reading. From the time he was very young, Joshua loved making music. He drummed on pots, he trumpeted into cardboard tubes. After his parents found him strumming elastic bands, they bought him a violin. When he played his first song, a twinkling star appeared above his head. When he learned other songs, whole stories poured from his violin. One day, Joshua rushed home from his music lesson. Mom, Dad, I have to go to Kalamazoo. What's in Kalamazoo? A competition. The winner gets to perform with an orchestra. Imagine me playing with the whole orchestra. Joshua showed his teacher the music he wanted to learn. The teacher shook his head. This is a very difficult piece, even for adults. But I love it. It's soft, and it's loud, and it's fast, and, and this is your first competition. I hear a story in it about dancers being chased by a bear. A bear! Their ship gets lost at sea. I have to learn this piece. In that case, Joshua, let's begin. Practicing the tricky fingering made Joshua's hands sore, but he deter was determined to get it right. He especially liked playing very fast. Participant, oh, slow down, slow down, his teacher said. The metronome helped Joshua play adagio. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, until weeks later, he got all the notes just right and was ready to speed up. Tick, tock, tick, tock. The day before the competition, Joshua's parents drove him to Kalamazoo. For five long hours, he practiced his music in his head. By the time they arrived at their hotel, Joshua's insides felt the way his violin sounded if the strings were tuned too tight. That night, he dreamt he was on stage and flubbed a switch from the E chord to the G. The audience laughed. Ha, 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 ha. Don't worry, he said. Everyone gets nervous before a competition. No matter what happens, his mom said, just remember how much you love that music. Waiting for his turn to play, Joshua shifted nervously on his chair. He twiddled with a loose thread on his shirt. He wiped away his sweaty hands on his sleeves. The music one shit played tickled every hair on Joshua's head and vibrated right down to his toes. Another student hit all the right notes, but they hung limp in the air like wet wa laundry on a clothesline. Next up, Joshua Bell. Joshua walked onto the stage and lifted his violin into the position under his chin. He held his bow lightly, but not too lightly. He carefully placed his fingers onto the strings. His parents smiled. The judge nodded, and Joshua 
began to play. Almost right away, scree! A small mistake, hardly noticeable. He kept going. Then his finger stumbled, his bow sputtered. The note swabbled and a splat out tumbled a dancer flat on her face. Joshua stopped playing. The judge sighed. The competition was over. Joshua turned to leave the stage, but I'd really like to start over. The judge furrowed his brow. All right. Joshua took a deep breath and let it out. He placed his violin under his chin. Again, he raised his bow. Inside his head, two dancers appealed, poised to take their first steps. He drew his bow across the strings and made two more dancers appear. Soon the notes sp spilling from the violin were pushing and pulling a whole room full of dancers, here and there, this way and that. Red skirts swirled and black boots twirled. The dancers flung each other dizzily around the room until Joshua felt dizzy too. One final note, one final swoop, and Joshua knew from every hair on his head to the tip of his toes that he had played better than ever before. His dancer circled round, one winked, one kissed his cheek. Then they lifted Joshua high and higher still till he could re almost reach the stars. I hope you enjoyed me reading The Dance of the Violin. Join me next time and I read Madeline and the Bad Hat. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Click it, it's right there. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MegaGraceTV for fun behind the scenes pictures. Bye for now.